I hope you all had a lovely weekend. It has been such lovely weather. I have been out gardening, I have taken Hendrix for his walks, and I've made some yummy sausage rolls. I'd love to hear what you guys have been up to. Uh, can you spot Hendrix today? Can you see him anyway? He's not on the sofa where he normally is. Can you see him? I think he is just there. I can see a little eye peeping at us. <laughs> I don't think he fancies the sofa today. <laughs> so before I start reading Harry and the Dinosaurs Go to School, I thought I'd do my daily shout outs. So hello to Sophie. Sophie sent a lovely picture of her, her little brother Freddy and her cuddly toy Sheepy. Uh, making a train track, which looked a really good one, better than the ones that I make. And Leo sent a great video, and he had found a caterpillar, and he'd also done he'd also done face painting on his mummy and on himself, so that looked really good. Uh, so do keep uh, sending all the uh, pictures and videos in. I love to see what you're up to. And when we also had Roman, Roman sent us a lovely video of him making his caterpillars with his brother. And he made a whole family caterpillars, and Belle also made a great caterpillar. So let's get on to Harry and the Dinosaurs Go to School. There we go. So, it was a big day for Harry. He was starting at his new school. He was very excited because one of his friends, Charlie, was starting that day too. Stegosaurus said he didn't want to go. Not after Triceratops told him about the no ras in class. Mum said not to worry, school would be fine. Harry blew his whistle and just like a teacher, he said, in twos, holding hands my dinosaurs, no talking and jump in the bucket please. The dinosaurs did what Harry said, all except Stegosaurus. He was so nervous, all his plates were rattling. Do you remember Stegosaurus has 17 platelets on his back? And when he gets angry or cross with another dinosaur, do you remember the platelets glow red? It's clever, isn't it? There's all the blood going to the bones. He was so nervous, all his plates were rattling. Harry had to give him a special stroke. Oh, poor Stegosaurus. Sam said, you can't take dinosaurs to school, silly. That is why her toast fell on the floor. Hmm, how do we think her toast fell on the floor? Do you think Harry was being a bit cheeky? Mum took Harry to school. Mrs Rance was waiting at the classroom door when Harry and Mum got there. Hello, Harry, she said. Welcome to your new school. They all said goodbye to their mums and dads. Then Mrs Rance showed Harry the coat pegs. We've got coat pegs, haven't we, where we hang all of our things? You can leave your lunchbox here too, she said. Harry was too shy to say, could he have his bucket of dinosaurs back? That's why his dinosaurs got left outside the classroom. Can you spot them? They're there. Harry missed his dinosaurs, so he didn't like the classroom. He didn't like the home corner or his special work tray. And he felt sorry for another new little boy with a digger who cried when his mum went home. The boy wouldn't say one single word, not even his name. Oh, I think he must have been feeling really sad and shy. Harry sort of liked the playground at playtime, but it wasn't much fun. Even the monkey bars, not without his dinosaurs. Oh, he's really missing them, isn't he? Back in class, the digger boy still wouldn't speak. Maybe he wants to go to the toilet, Harry suggested. I'll show him where it is, shall I? Mrs Rance said, good idea, how thoughtful. All the way to the toilet, the boy kept quiet. It was the same on the way back till they got to the coats. Then they heard a voice, very, very sad and very, very soft. Nah, it said, oh, what do we think it is? That's my dinosaurs, said Harry. They miss me. Would you like to see them? The boy nodded, so Harry said, This is my Apatiosaurus, and my Ankyosaurus, and my Skeletosaurus. This is my Triceratops, and my Tri... Tyrannosaurus. Oh, Jessie's terrible with dinosaur names, aren't I? Pterodactyl is the baby. Wait, where's Stegosaurus? Oh no, where is he? Jump out, Stegosaurus. 
Stegosaurus called Harry, don't be shy. But Stegosaurus wanted a whisper. Ah, said Harry, Stegosaurus says he will come out, but only if he has a ride on your digger. And do you know what? The boy nodded and passed it over. Well, that's kind of him, isn't it? When Harry and the boy got back, Mrs. Rout said, Oh, good, dinosaurs. I love dinosaurs. Do they run? Roar, said the dinosaurs, and blew all the windows open. Oh, my goodness, said Mrs. Rance. That was a roar. Oh, look, all the paper's blown out. You all do really good roars, don't you? You're all very noisy dinosaurs. They all sat down in the classroom. Now we're going to make new labels for our coat pegs, said Mrs. Rance. Hands up, who knows how to write their name? The boy with the digger put up his hand. Oh, what are you going to write, smiles Mrs. Rance. Mrs. Rance. Jackasaurus, said the boy. We've got a Jackasaurus, haven't we? We used to. Eda's little brother, uh, older brother, Jack. Hi, Jack. <laughs> it was the very first word he had spoken all day. And what a good joke, too. All the other children laughed and laughed. Harry felt very happy. Charlie, Harry and their new friend Jack sat down together at a table with the dinosaurs. They laughed and they roared and they made beautiful labels to show where they belonged. Endosaurus. Oh, they're really nice pictures, aren't they? So maybe today you could draw a lovely picture, couldn't you? You could draw a dinosaur, a digger, a flower, whatever you'd like. And also I saw quite a cool activity where if you go outside because it's lovely and sunny, put a piece of paper down on the ground, put a dinosaur or a toy that you've got, if you kind of blue tack him down or sellotape him down when he won't fall down if the wind blows, and then you can draw around the shadow. So you could have a giant dinosaur, it might be a tiny toy dinosaur, but with the shadow it could be a massive one. So that would be a really cool thing to do. Okay, everyone. Well, go outside and enjoy that sunshine and I will see you tomorrow. And also, I think this week as well, we've got Rachel and Rachel's going to be reading us a story. So that would be really nice. Okay, then everyone. Bye.